What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 524. In this episode, I'll discuss Bayesian dosing. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 524. New vancomycin guidelines were published in March 2020. These guidelines have recommended that AUC-MIC ratios be used to monitor vancomycin instead of trough values, and that Bayesian dosing software may be used to dose vancomycin and achieve the desired AUC-MIC ratio. Bayesian dosing is based on Bayes' theorem, which was developed by an 18th century mathematician. The Bayesian method involves starting with an initial probability of an event based on prior knowledge and then updating the probability of an event based on new knowledge. Bayesian models have been applied to various fields from credit scoring to the diagnostic process. Applied to vancomycin dosing, this means that an assumption is made on what a patient's vancomycin level will be in response to a given dose based on prior population-level pharmacokinetic data. Then, when a vancomycin level is obtained, this level is used to inform the prior model and improve upon it to determine the dose of vancomycin needed to achieve the desired AUC-MIC ratio in a specific patient. In this way, an individualized dose calculation is made for each patient that keeps getting more accurate with each vancomycin level drawn. Members of my Hospital Pharmacy Academy have access to an in-depth breakdown of the new vancomycin guidelines, as well as over 100 masterclass trainings for clinical skills in critical care, emergency medicine, infectious disease, and general hospital pharmacy. To get immediate access to these and more resources to help you in your practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com academy. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.